Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. We're continuing Life Force, custom campaign for StarCraft II, created by Bilksor. Let's go to Devil's Canyon. It's been overrun by a hive of aggressive subterranean insects. The locals have called in our guns to restore order and protect the settlement. Despite its low population and humble infrastructure, many engineers and scientists call the region home. Inhabitants rely on underground aquifers to irrigate their crops and generate electricity. But as the nearby river abruptly dries up, that's the least of their concerns. I, is this the is this a defense map? I feel like this is a defense map. Devil's Canyon. I like these loading screens. Very nice artwork wherever it was taken from. Foundry points can be earned by completing optional objectives in the mission. Indeed. Was there a micro part to this one in the original map? Then how what how am I going to split it? Here's the thing. My wife and I are leaving for my brother-in-law's wedding here very soon, and I have to leave. But I also have to have this recorded. So here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> we're going to find the, a good spot to stop exactly around the time I have to leave. Let's go. Clear the landing zone. Defend the colony from waves of bugs. Mech tech. Can rejuvenate allies, slow enemies, and create mobile attack drones. It requires a factory, but is built at a barracks. Brimstone tank. Flame tanks. This is what I like to see. Can use siege mode for long-range artillery attacks. Deals extra damage to enemies at the epicenter of its blast when in siege mode. All right. There's money in the hills of Devil's Canyon. The sleepy colony hit it big after sizable precious ore veins were discovered. But several days ago, the mouth of the nearby underground river mysteriously went dry. Shortly after, aggressive insect-like creatures have spilled out into the area, killing all they come in contact with. The colonists have promised to share their powerful technology with us in exchange for saving their settlement. Okay, I almost clicked normal there. Hard is the new normal, let's be honest. Let's be real. Foundry? Wait, hang on. Using the local resources, the colonists here have developed some ingenious flame-based weapons to combat the bugs. I like the sound of that. Decker just walking off camera. I guess we'll talk to you later, buddy. I saw him come back. Laura, Lara upgrades... They're balling out of control. Here's the thing with the Decker upgrades. I mean, there have been discussions in the comments, and yeah, the Decker choices are almost all insane overreactions. Um, but the upgrades are probably better for the most part. They're probably just better for the most part. Like, the, the, the stim pack dealing basically no damage is a big deal. All bunkers now come standard with automated turrets that knock back incoming enemies. Does not knock back massive units. Who asked? <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. Um, attack range of all factory units. This is the map where we get the tanks, right? So maybe we just upgrade the tank range? They shoot projectiles, though. So it's not hit scan like base game tanks. So I don't know if the range is actually much better there. The increased attack speed on infantry is really good if we toss them in bunkers. Or we level or we get the ability to level up our tanks to a higher attack. I think maybe we just do something like this. It's boring, but I think we're gonna need it. And then Vehicle ship plating. I don't think that's super necessary. I think we do want the energy field here because we're getting those mech techs. I don't think healing pulse is super necessary. I really liked the commando drop. Really, really liked the commando Upgrade. drop. So that's a, that's an easy one for us. Uh, being able to spend money in the grand scheme or save money from not having to make as many supply depots is pretty substantial. You don't have to make half as many supply depots. Um, that's going to save us cash in the long run. I really like that. I mean... We do something like this strictly for the cash. And then... I, I like the mech repair beam again, mostly because it saves us money. I don't think the healing pulse is needed. So we do, Upgrade. We do something like this. Right, we're spread pretty thin. I think this is appropriate. Maybe at the end of the day, we just go double explosive weapons if necessary. That's the only thing about not getting as many points for Decker is... These offensive upgrades are pretty solid. I don't think the micro tur microwave turrets are that good, if I remember correctly. I also watched... 
I think Hearthstone maybe have gotten these. I don't, and they just didn't seem that great. So, um, and then the resistor turrets. It just depends. Like, does the do the the, the does the turret on top actually do damage, or does it just knock back? I, I mean, I like it either way, but still. Uh, okay, send me in. We can always restart and just pick these differently if we need. If we find if we decide what we want to do differently. A small oceanside settlement persists here, despite the colony of dust bugs that exist beneath the surface. Word is that the bugs have been swarming pretty good after the river dried up. The colonists say they sent a squad to check it out two days ago. Okay. Razor face, welcome back. Welcome back to the squad, Razor face. I just love that we have a hero named Razor face. It's just ridiculous. Oh, look at these little guys. Oh, they're adorable. Bugs. They're just bugs. I don't know why I didn't stomp there again. I'm just being extra careful. The map has expanded. Go ahead and feast, buddy. Feast on the bugs. Feast on them. Feast upon them. You deserve it, man. You've been doing great work. Do you think we can upgrade... Do you think we can get upgrades that apply... Oh, gosh. That can apply to Razor Face? Do you think we're going to have access to Razor Face for much longer? All right. Clear. Ooh, ooh. Control link with razor face severed. Speak of the devil. They knew. Not on my watch. Give me some emergency drop pods now. Meanwhile. They're taking my boy razor face. How could you? That's it, huh? Only three of us made it out. Hold up. Looks like a brimstone tank survived. The treads are busted on her, though, so her top speed is slashed and she won't be able to siege up. Broken or not, the colony needs us, and the only way there is along this canyon. Devil's Canyon, would you say? Ho ho. Alright, what? what's going on here? Hope your suits are still working, boys. Let's build some ifrits to back us up. Ifrits? Hello. Ifrits deal splash flame damage just like a fire bat. You love to see it. They're also extremely quick to repair and cost only 20, 20 minerals to repair up to full life. Okay. Uh, I guess build one? Oh my god, it's adorable. It's the most adorable thing I think I've ever seen in my life. What, what are you? What, what's going on with you? Reduce the time to siege. Miracle beam. Oh, hello. Did you all see me just heal that thing, like, instantly? I-I-I love the- he's- they're- they're just delightful. We're gonna quick save. We're gonna go into these. We're gonna summon a new Ifrit. Ifrit. And then I guess we're going to look up here. Are these guys mechanical? No. Well, they're armored, but yeah, I assume the miracle beam. What's going on here? Some resources? Prioritizes the most damage unit first. Mech tech also heals himself quickly while channeling. Friendly mechanical units and structures. That's pretty sick. Huge scrap salvage. It's huge. These resources will come in handy for repairs. Long road ahead. Well, I guess we're starting with the micro section. You know what? This works out. Because the micro section is usually a little shorter. <laughs> Which is good. Because I need to leave soon. So. 
I'll be honest. I mean, it's not that I'm leaving. It's just I have to go to sleep because we're waking up early so that we can get on an airplane to fly through the sky in a metal in a metal tube, essentially a flying bus. Uh, yeah, you know, you know what it, what it's like. You know how it happens. The miracle of flight. I'm loving, I'm loving the Ifrits. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm loving them. I, I should have healed him. At least they managed to raise the gate in time. Looks like we're going the long way, boys. Let's do this. Lots of bugs ahead, boys. We should use a goo gun shot to slow him down in this choke point. Goo is also highly flammable. Um, I love the sound of a goo gun. I'm a big fan of the goo gun. The mech tech sprays an area down with goo that slows enemy movement speed by 66%. Enemies covered in goo who are hit with a flame weapon take 12 damage per second for as long as they're covered in goo. Goo lasts for four seconds after leaving the goo puddle. Allied units are not affected by goo. My goo! All right, shoot the goo. I fired the goo, which makes the Ifrit more valuable. And then we move in and we, we, we attack. Would you look at that? Dude, these guys do like no damage otherwise though. I will destroy these rocks. Who knows what could be back there? Does this thing just shoot tw like four times in quick succession? Yeah, attacks four. Cool. All right, small bug. Oh yeah, get quad shotted. Are you ready for more goo? We goo. We ifrit. I fr it. Yeah, I'm, we're, we're gonna stick with ifrit. Okay. I wonder what past Jay Barino said. Probably, I, if I had to guess, past Jay Barino said Ifrit, which is why the new age of Jay Barino is going to say Ifrit. No question there. Oh. <laughs> go on. Get gooed. Sure. We make another one of these things. Okay, they do regenerate their energy. For a second, I why thought maybe not? they didn't. And then we go. Oh, 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 look at that slime. You love you love to see it. Of course. Who could say no to some good slime? Ifrit's doing the Lord's work. Give me another one. Don't let him get close. Keep him in the goo. Dude, he got that that dude just got blasted. Let the let the Ifrit do the tanking. Time's a wasting. I guess we'll look up. Hang on, did I miss a? No, I think that was the entrance to the actual sure. base. Hello, That's another mech time. tech. Excuse me. Oh yes, depleted. That. Miracle beam reacquired. Okay. Word, There's something back here too. You think you can hide this from me? You think you can hide me. mineral pickups from me? Oh hello. How do we get that though? Is this a Go is this a problem on, for another please. day? Can we get the Ifrit sure, over there? There's no ramp. We must get some sort of Just cliff jumping. Right? Yeah, we couldn't we can't like cheese the, the Ifrit getting built over there. This thing no longer Hmm. This thing doesn't have anything that would seem like it would let it jump up and down cliffs. That must be something we can get later. It must be, because there's just no there's no ramp, there's nothing destructible. Just double checking again. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, uh let's We're gonna goo. And we're gonna make an ifrit. Another one? Two you know what? Let's go two. Dude, these, the purple ones do some Mondo damage. Oh, hell, a bunker? We're getting close. Here's what's left of our defenses. Those assault bugs bring down our bunkers as fast as we can make them. So is this just to show how fast, yeah, how fast they destroy stuff? Indeed. Oh, could I have salvaged that? And maybe it wasn't even selectable. Dude, we got so many that got gooed right there. I don't know if you noticed. The amount of goo... Oh my gosh. The biggest goo combo you've ever seen in your life, probably. Maybe ever. I like the, the quad shot tanks. I'm a really big fan of that, actually. 
These mech techs otherwise just do so little damage. Find the outlying mech techs. We'll do a quick once over of the map here momentarily. Just to see if maybe I missed any sneaky ramps. Actually, this this guy's about to go, so we'll come over here. We go. Okay, that was good enough. Oh no, hang on. We're going. Goo. I should have been faster. I think we could have saved at least one or two of these mech techs. Maybe. That was terrible. And not a second too late. Thanks for the backup. Those bugs won't be stopping anytime soon, but we do have a plan for how we can save the colony without the brute force of Razorface. Strategically place tanks to kill as many bugs as possible along the high ground and maximize the splash damage of the brimstone tank. See, this is why the increased range might not actually have been that beneficial. The closer a bug is to the impact zone of that brimstone cannon, the harder it hits. Exactly. The longer it takes the shot to get to where it needs to be, the less likely you're going to hit anything at the epicenter of the blast. Incoming base infrastructure. Still got to figure out how to get up there. Uh, we're going to save. And... Oh my god, a 16-minute video. The last one was really short, too. But this, you know, I think we just save now because... Almost definitely a mech tech to save back there. I wonder if we could have saved any of the additional ones that were here, because it really seemed like there were quite a few. And we're just going to sort of review. Ideal coordinates for tank positioning located. Prevent bugs from entering the settlement. Right, so if there's anything on the high ground, we got to clear it out as well. Can we, like, move our civic sub kind of up in that direction? Yeah, save. Okay, I already did. Okay, I already did. Well, I guess we're going to go ahead and, and, and stop here. Uh, I don't know if I missed any of the outlying mech techs um, elsewhere in the map. Again, what do we have that can cliff jump? Do we have to, like, load an SCV into a flipping, like, civics hub? Or, or a command center and literally float it over there? Because to me, that sort of feels like that might be the only way. Unless, like, you can bring an SCV over here to... Times are wasting. Fight fire with fire. To, like, jump the gap? Yeah, it's just mech techs. And then the Sphinx. Okay, well, I'm mostly just sort of planning for the next Go on. piece, right? So we're gonna, we have to destroy these rocks. And then we plop maybe a another command center there or, or something. We could open up the gate, which could probably mess with their AI a little bit. Yeah, I actually, yeah, I actually do think that the range, we want to put these out like right on the edge. And then we get some bunkers in there too to sort of protect them. And then as long as we keep some mech techs nearby to repair them, or, uh, or just some SCVs, then we're cooking with gas. We definitely need to get started as soon as possible, though. I've just, you know, obviously I've just been delaying, but... Go time. Mostly just sort of exploring a little bit. These guys are going to make their way all the way down here. We could build some last-minute defense back here. It's just, obviously, bunkers not the way to go. Maybe we could block with supply depots, which would go down equally fast, but... I think they build a little bit faster, maybe? This is confusing to me. Past me must have figured out how to do it, or maybe you can, like, just... I wonder if... Maybe when I was up there, we could have destroyed that? Maybe that's targetable. Which would have created a ramp? Because otherwise, there's no... Maybe it was this. Maybe that stuff was targetable, now that I think about it. Defend the 22 civilian structures. So none of none of the civilian structures can go down or just one? <laughs> we'll see. Okay, well, hey, I am going to stop here. I got I to gotta wrap things up a little early, and then next time we'll do the whole defense thing, which is going to be a, it's gonna be a whole thing. It's going to be a big deal. We have mech techs to find. We got to set up our outlying expansions, and we have to stop these initial, these initial waves, man. 
They're ruining us. So obviously we get some commandos in bunkers. We get more tanks. Uh, the faster we can do that, the better. But otherwise, maybe we just leave our mech techs down here and we goo the first few waves. That probably is the most efficient way to clear these first. Because uh, this isn't too bad, especially if we lead them into the goo. Into the goo! While we otherwise get set up. What is going on here? What do we... Hmm... So obviously, again, SCV in a command center would do it, and maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Okay, well, hey, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.